Well, I'm delighted to say welcome to Working Football Club, Charlie Cooper. Cheers, thank you. Well, well, for, first thing I want to say is that this very, very nearly happened last year, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, I've already had a joke with a gaffer about it. Um, but yeah, it did nearly happen, but uh, other things got in the way and now I'm, now I'm here, so I'm looking forward to it. So what's, what's different about this time round? Um, I just think, I don't know, um, I obviously did want to come here last season. Um, something come up in, in League One and couldn't really turn it down, but right. obviously that didn't go well and uh, I ended up, everyone else was 10 games in and luckily for me, Halifax come in and give me a chance to uh, go and play there, so it worked out okay. Right, so you spent most of last season with Josh Staunton then? Yeah, I did, yeah, good lad, uh, good player as well, so... No, um, yeah, I realised that he was here for a, a few seasons and he obviously done well, so uh, good. You didn't speak to him at all about the club? Uh, yeah, he'd mentioned obviously little bits and stuff and said it was a good club and uh, um, not too much into detail, but I've always known it's a, it's a good club and it's got good fans, so uh, now I'm looking forward to getting started. Great. Um, is part-time... What sort of a factor is that for you? Does that put you off or was it an attraction or is it neither here nor there? Yeah, neither really. I think with the situation everyone finds themselves in after um, COVID and stuff like that, I don't think you can be too picky and I don't think it's really a problem. Uh, you know, there'll be a lot of games this season, Saturday, Tuesday, yeah. so um, it could potentially help. Right. So... How will you feel the rest of the time? Because you've been full time for years, basically, haven't you? Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I wouldn't even class myself now as going part time because I'd like to think I'll still be doing my own sort of stuff and training and yeah. uh, keeping as fit as I can um, and getting myself ready for them games. So yeah. Right. Okay. Um, it would be fairly obvious and certainly very true to say that you come from a football family. Yeah. Was, it, did you, was there ever any doubt that you would play football? Um, no, I don't think there was. No, I've always, um, yeah, always been kicking the ball about and, yeah, obviously um, always been involved in it from an early age. Uh, sometimes you get away from actually enjoying the football and get caught up too much in other stuff and I think now I'm at that stage where I just need to get back enjoying it and um, you know, helping the team do well. Right, and uh, just in case anyone isn't aware, your dad is Mark Cooper, who's the Forest Green Rovers manager, and your granddad's Terry Cooper, who was Leeds in England. I don't suppose you you clearly wouldn't have ever seen him play. Did you ever see your dad play? Uh, yeah, he weren't very good. Nah, no, he, <laughs> he played nah, for four hundred and fifty yeah, odd joke. league games. I'm joking. Nah, he was a uh, yeah. They were both obviously good players um, and good careers, and yeah, I'm just trying to find my own way sure. now and. Uh, kind of get away from that um, it's good to have it and you know proud of it but yeah just uh, find my own way and go and make my own career for myself sure well people listening to this and hearing your voice won't be surprised to learn that you started off in Birmingham uh, as a, as a <laughs> well, I wouldn't teenager. say my accent's that bad no 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 <laughs> but it, it, there, there is, it's noticeable it's, it's there yeah it's yeah, there. yeah of course um, yeah I started there and was at the academy there for a good few years Um Really enjoyed my time and progressed and uh, at an early age I went out on loan because uh, I was desperate to play men's football. Um, yeah, so I kind of got away from there quite early um, and always, well, was hoping I'd go back there and either break into the first team, every every young lad would, um, but that didn't happen and obviously went elsewhere and had a bit of success, obviously, at Forest Green. Um, a bit get, of success, you won promotion. Yeah, get, getting promoted from this league, um, which was great, and everything was happy, happy days. And then obviously, when the team starts to do bad, and you're the manager's son, um, <laughs> yeah, things don't kind of work out. And I wanted to just get away from it. So, yeah, good success, but it was time for a, a move on from there. Right. If I was that was going to be the thing I asked about next actually about what it's like playing for your dad where you sort of half answered it is it you're an impos in, in an impossible position really aren't you yeah I think so um, yeah obviously when I first went there it was all happy and uh, good because we were winning and we obviously got promoted um, 
probably didn't get any praise for that sort of thing off any of the fans or whatever, but it doesn't really bother me. That was the main goal, and uh, we done that. And then playing playing uh, in League Two, um, the main aim was to stay up in the first year, which we done. Um, but then again, I think people were expecting too much, and uh, um, no. But I, in, I enjoyed it there for the couple of years that I was there and um, had success. So yeah, that's all I can say about sure, that. Sure, really. sure. What about all the um, vegan, vegetarian, eco aspect of the club? Was that was that a bit weird? Was it easy to get used to? Was uh, it a problem in any way? No, I think it was fine because obviously you have your own choices. So you can do what you want, and um, but I must say the food and that there, served by the the chefs there was unbelievable, and right. you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know, sort of thing what you're eating. It's just nice food, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, whoever's been there and has probably said the exact same thing. Um, so no, it, it is really nice to be fair, but I'm not a vegan. Uh. No, right. Um, what what has Dow said to you about how he sees you playing and fitting into the team? Well, he's a straight up guy, so obviously he said what I need to improve on and um how he sees me playing. Uh and which is which is what, sorry, how's he um, where do you fit in? Well obviously in midfield uh I'd like to get on the ball and try and make things happen and stuff. I think hopefully this year I'll get to have more of a licence to go and play a bit more forward. Um I need to add goals to my game and um, if I do go and play more forward. But uh yeah, I think that's how he sees me playing on the front foot getting stuck in um, and enjoying it really that's the, that's the main thing I think if I enjoy my football I'll be playing my best football so. sure sure. Um, if the internet is to be believed and you can correct me if this is wrong it, it tells me you've you've scored two goals in your career yeah not good and you, um, well you've spoken already about adding to them but what I wanted to say was you've already got one for Woking haven't you Oh. In the friendly at Westfield. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it won't count that, officially, yeah, yeah. but but um, nonetheless. Yeah, obviously played there the other week, and um, I really enjoyed it. Played forty five minutes. Um, like I said about playing on the front foot, that's what I've done, and uh, you know they were actually an all right side, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed playing with a few of the lads here, and uh, yeah, I just went and played and enjoyed it, and obviously nicked a little goal. So hopefully I can do more of that this season. Uh, whereas. In my other few years, I've been playing a lot more defensive, sort of in front of the back four and right. just shoring things up. But hopefully, uh, this season I can go and uh, yeah, add, add a few more goals. Right. Yeah, um, I mentioned to you before we started filming that I do this interview with Douse every week. Following that game at Westfield, he said you were the best player on the pitch. So, so obviously a nice compliment, and um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed that. I must say that was. Some of the lads that uh, that were playing in front of me made it a lot easier, um, and there was some really, really good performances in that game. So yeah. for him to say that's obviously good, and hopefully I just continue with that now. Right, and to finish off, something I, I fairly often do, but not always. But you, I'm sure you're familiar with the computer game Football Manager. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you know what your best attributes are according to Football Brilliant. Manager? Oh, that? Uh, sorry, let me stop you because they divide it into three categories: mental, technical, and physical. So I've got noted down here what they reckon you're best at in each of those categories. So if we start, let's start with physical. Physical, it's got to be stamina. No. Oh. <laughs> Acceleration and pace. Wow. Allegedly. Well, that sums the game up, doesn't it? Really? <laughs> um, no, you can't be seeing too much pace from me. Uh, no, that's uh, definitely wrong. That one. Okay. Uh, technical uh, aspects of of playing, they think your best thing is probably say flipping a head in or something. No, they reckon your first touch is your best oh, attribute. God. Yeah. And well. then it's, this is probably unfair to ask you because there's so many possible things it could be. Um, at the mental side of the game, they go for determination and work rate. But to be fair, the next highest mark is for flair. So you're not all about doing doggies yeah, well, all afternoon. Yeah, I definitely won't be playing that game, that's for sure. <laughs> uh. So there we are. Um, obviously, you bring a lot to the table. And let's hope uh, goals is one of the things that you bring to the table this year. It's great to see you finally signing. Um, a year late, but nonetheless, <laughs> you're here now. And we look forward to you having a successful season. Perfect, thank you.